right, so let's get this thing started. Thank you for coming out today in this awful weather. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Um, does everybody have a program? If you need one, they're right there on that white table. Does anybody else need a program for good? Okay, so welcome everybody. Um, this is our yearly recital. Uh, my name is Jamie Cooper. This is my music studio, my students. Um, they have worked very hard this year on all kinds of music. Um, so <laughs> make sure you have Give them plenty of applause and encouragement with their songs because they, they've really worked and it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be really great. I'm excited. Um, quick uh, note. So when we're uh, performing, um, I just, if you guys need to get up and get a drink, use the restroom, that is totally fine. Um, just make sure nobody's walking around while someone's playing. So just do that. Just please do that for us. Um, as soon as they're done and the applause starts, if you need to get up, go for it. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Um, let's get started. What do you say? Where's my first performer? Where is he? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to kick this off with a bang, guys. I have a couple of uh, very young beginners, so they're going to start us off this, this evening. Um, there's a composer by the name of Antonin Dvorak. He's one of my favorite composers. He wrote, he was Russian, um, and he came to America, at, like many of the composers at the time, doing tours, making money, doing concerts. And as he traveled around America, and he was hearing our folk music and all the things, uh, he, he started getting inspired. And he wrote this symphony called the New World Symphony. It's one of my favorite pieces of music. Um, and what Malkishua is going to play for us now is the grand finale from the New World Symphony. Because to Dvorak, he wrote this entire thing. To him, it's what America sounded like. And I always thought that was just kind of a cool idea. It starts off with a bang, then it gets slow and quiet and beautiful, and then it ends with a bigger bang. And that's the part that you're about to hear. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started this concert. Come on up, everybody clap.
forgot to mention earlier, you're going to see um, a little bit of classical concert etiquette. Um, first of all, not getting up while people are playing. I mean, yeah, that's obvious. But you're going to see my students bowing before and after their performance. Um, and the reason for that is when they come up to play the piano, uh, the bow is to thank you for being here, for listening. Um, and the second bow when they're done was just thank you for your time listening to my song. So it's just a way of us thanking you for listening to us play our songs. So, yeah, that's what that was. Um, okay, so our next performer, get this out, is Keo. Where are you? Come on.
Thank you. Those of you that were here last year, you know how much I love Beethoven. Somehow I always end up with tons of Beethoven on, on these things <laughs> because I pass it on to my students. They, love, they end up loving Beethoven too. Um, so here's our first Beethoven of today.
now, here's our variety, and we have a little bit of 80s music. And it's great. One of my favorite songs growing up. Um, so here we go. Mr. Logic.
realize I did this in the program. I usually mix it up a little better. <laughs> All right, so next, we, there's another great type of piece you're going to recognize. Release.
yeah, the next part of the program, we're going to see a little more heavy in the classical music. Um, it's, it's just really fantastic. Um, okay, so I have been lucky enough this year to have three high schoolers who are pretty well advanced in their piano career so far. Um, I have Miss Sherry and Chase is going to round us off when Alexis um, So you'll see your programs. Here we go. They're going to play a few extra songs, more than one. Um, and I just hope you enjoy it.
Now, uh, in music school, uh, we have a little tradition. Uh, when we skip close to graduating and going out to the world as professional musicians, uh, we have the junior recital um, and then the senior recital. Um, Sherry is a sophomore and chose to take on two pieces instead of one. <coughs> Excuse me. So she took on two challenging pieces, and I think that was beautiful. It's fantastic. It's amazing. As a sophomore, she did that. So if I give her another round of applause. <laughs> All right. So now we're getting towards the end of our program. I like to do, I like to kind of uphold that tradition. Now, in college, the juniors do a 30-minute recital entirely from memory, um, alone up there on the stage, uh, and the seniors do an act work. Um, which is the kind of stuff that you continue to do as a professional. Uh, here, I don't want to put them through that. <laughs> so, my juniors do two pieces, my seniors do uh, three. So now we're going to get to our junior recital for this evening. So
Um, so I decided to reopen my studio and just take in a handful of students. Now getting to the, how this, what this has to do with Chase. Chase was one of the very first students I took after that. Um, and he remembers, I had this old upright piano in my office for a little while. It took me a couple years to get around to buying a new piano. Um, so he was a beginner at the time. So I've gotten to, in this, this second chapter with my music, I've gotten to bring him from the very beginning to this fabulous show that you all just saw with him. It was great. Um, and it has just been my honor, Chase, to be able to teach you these past few years. Uh, he has a bright future ahead of him. He's a smart guy. He's a talented pianist, obviously. He's also a very talented composer. Uh, so you guys be on the lookout, you know, Apple Music, Spotify, you might see some of his music on there one of these days, so be on the lookout for his name. Um, thank you all for coming this evening. Um, it's been a great show. I, I'm so proud of all of my students. They worked so hard, and they all did such a great job. Um, please stay, have some refreshments, congratulate one another. Um, so, first of all, students, you'll do this for me. Would you, would you give the grown-ups in your life a hand, please, for helping you get through all of this? Come on, all the practice. <laughs> oh, no, they're like, oh, I get to work. I mean, <laughs> all right, everybody, please give all of my students, students another hand. All right, well, thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Thanks.